what began with just 16 lights hung over one doorway has grown. Now, in 2008, when the switch is thrown at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving night, 286,000 lights will illuminate the Country Club Plaza. It is up to a hardworking crew from Capital Electric that began hanging the lights in August. Let's take a closer look behind the scenes as they prepare for the 79th annual lighting ceremony. I'm forming down here on the plaza lighting project. The towers are all solid colors. We have all different kinds here. We've got obviously different colors. Here's some of the big ones. I kind of have an interesting question. Why aren't there purple Christmas lights? Which one's... What's the the hardest building to hang? I mean, it's what? probably not a building, it's probably a tower. <laughs> that was perfect. There's a couple of them. Probably the Time Tower is the toughest one. Easter, after they're all up, it just drops back down to two of us. And then two of us take them all, we maintain them while they're on and take them all down also. Sometimes we have up to five. And then right at this point, we're at three. Yeah, that's good. Every, every day, after the lights come on after Thanksgiving, me and another guy, my folks, we make a huge list of all the burnouts, all the circuits that might be out or any blocks that might be out, and we spend the rest of the day fixing everything. So try at the end of the day have it 100%. We put them up every year, take them down every year. I kind of have an interesting question. Why aren't there purple Christmas lights? I know it's been a while, sweetheart. And we normally work five days a week. Right now we're actually working six days. Do you have a family? You can take a bulb out and they all work. Well, I actually, that guy, Mike Burks, and the other guy, Joe Buffa, they're the ones that are here year round pretty much. Do you have lights at your own house <laughs> at Christmas time? No. I think my sister's going to make me hang some on her house this year. This is just our storage shop that, where we bring all the lights and work on the lights at, as we take them all down. And, they're all obviously stored down here, and that's where we keep all our tools and our repelling equipment. It's good though. I've been down here 16 years. <laughs> probably I've got lifts that'll go probably 125 to 130 feet. Anything higher than that, we have to drop ropes and repel down. <laughs> probably good. <laughs> Chiefs players, Royals players like George Brett, some of the gold medal winners in the Olympics, hey, David Cook this year, people. Last year was a general from the uh, military. I know David Cook's going to switch the lights on mm -hmm. this year. Who are some other famous people who have switched the lights on? Just hang on for a second. So, the next time you're at the Country Club Plaza, you'll know to thank Joe, Matt, and Mike, and the whole crew from Capital Electric for all the wonderful lights in 2008. Though no purple lights were to be found on the Country Club Plaza.